What's good, y'all? Welcome to the newest part of the Dust Elysian Channel. Let's play. Now, I'm telling now I'm now giving you guys like a quick announcement, like telling you some backstory in this part, so you guys know what exactly to expect from this new part. Because I had a lot of problems uploading this. Okay. First of all, guys, now this isn't the actual the full part that I actually planned. The original uh, plan of the part that I was actually going to upload. Uh, like three or four days ago was originally supposed to be 25 min 29 minutes, about 30 minutes. But while I was recording the gameplay, I had a lot of technical difficulties. By that I mean when I was recording the commentary, the gameplay would constantly freeze up on me, and then I would try to like you know try some other things like you know take out like you know like exit out the the app on the PS4, transfer to every set my PS4, and after but now after a while I just kind of like just dealt with the problems and then I tried to upload it, but when I did it could only render to a certain point before it crashed and I tried to reset, it. but then um, the Share Factory app itself would not open up for a while. But when I tried to like say and when I tried to like turn on my PS4 or restart it, it would be in that constant you know. Loop sometimes you get when you play a game and your PS4 doesn't turn off properly, it goes into rest mode properly. It just like you know, constantly just stays in that that, that whitish bar and just pulses. Some of you might have a problem if you do a PS4s. Um, so yeah, I had that problem, and then after so after a while, then um, the parts of would not render at all. It was the app would instantly crash um, when it happened. So. So I couldn't render the whole video because apparently there's some audio clips or something that got corrupted and that was no use. Now then I tried to okay, I render it, but then I tried to just go, you know, full screen on the video itself and just record the video that way. But after I reached a certain point in the video, it would still crash. So I still had crashing issues even then. Now, so, but I was able to get to a certain point in the video where I would actually get, um, where I would actually then... Uh, work where I can get the what I could salvage from the video. So what you're about to see is what I could salvage from the video. It's not much. I mean, it's about like on a little over half of what it is. I think it's about what 17 minutes of footage of legal salvage, 17 or 18 minutes worth of footage of legal salvage, salvage of the original 29 minute video I was going to uh, upload. So yeah, that's so you guys are going to tell. I'm sorry about that, guys. If this is what I could salvage. You know, the grind of being a YouTuber, you got to deal with technical difficulties. Sometimes your PS4 just feels like glitching up on you. And all that work you did goes down the center. Well, I was able to salvage most of it. I mean, what you guys see was pretty much the majority of all side. The rest of the video after that was just kind of like, really not that part. So you got pretty much what the important shit was. So yeah, I just want to tell you guys that before you watch the video, just so you guys know, especially, you know, like, wait, what the fuck is going on? Like, why am I, why is, what, what, why is the game freezing up on me? Why is it look kind of choppy? Or... While well, you see my play and pause on like the bottom of the screen, that's because I went full screen just record what I could off of that method. And I edited the video to get to where it looked at least somewhat good, where it looked like it was all one seamless transit rather than just like, you know, me trying to do it multiple times. So yeah, guys, uh, enjoy the video. Uh, leave a like if you do. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time. And follow me on Instagram too, if you feel like it. See so yeah, guys. Enjoy the video. <laughs> yeah. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Dust and Elysian Tales Let's Play. Now, guys, I actually meant for this video to get up um, a while ago, uh, yesterday or... Yeah, yesterday and the day before that, I meant to get them out there, but uh, I got distracted with some other things, um, like... Uh, I was pretty much, you know, mostly just, uh... Uh, I meant to get this out, yeah, but I was busy. I was busy with some other things. The guy that I, uh, took over my attention that I got distracted by. I was uh, mostly finishing up anime series that I've been meaning to get through, and get caught up in some other ones. I finished. I finally finished up The Devil Is a Part Timer, which is an excellent series, by the way. I, you sh I highly recommend you guys watch if you're into like kind of like comedy slice of life series. I guess I don't really know how like. I guess I, if you like comedy anime series with like like the devil, as I would still recommend it. I recommend you guys check it out if you can. It's on Funimation's website. You can stream it off of there by the Blu-rays. And I also got caught up on Berserk 2017, which is which is really good, by the way, guys. Yeah, even my brother, who is a manga, right now I've heard of like the like the Berserk anime does like doesn't do the manga justice for Berserk. But as well, my brother's also watching the series. He's uh, currently reading the manga right now. Berserk while watching the uh, 
2017 anime, and and he's enjoying, but and he enjoyed both. And I, he enjoyed the 90s series. I believe he also enjoyed 2016, and and also really enjoyed 2017. For me personally, guys, I, I started off with Berserk from 2016 anime. Yeah, I haven't seen the Golden Age arc, so I don't know it, but I have a good idea. But I kind of know what went down in the Golden Age arc. To enough to where I'm not completely confused like who's this character, who's that character. I have, I have enough knowledge of Berserk from the Golden Age arc to know exactly what the, what's going on. Is that like a glitch, or was that done on purpose? Like, seriously, like, if you do the dust storm in the air, you could get up really high. I feel like you could use that as, like, a chi or something. Like, in Metroid games, you could, like, sometimes use the Morph Ball Bombs to go up higher than where, where you should be without having the attack. Like, I think also, like, the... I think, what's that, what's the that attack you can get in a Super Metroid that makes you go... That makes you jump up really high and... Or makes you... I forget what it's called. The Speed Boosters? I believe that's what it's called. The speed Boosters? Anyway. So yeah, I was, um, which I'm really enjoying Berserk 2016. I didn't really enjoy Berserk 2016. I give it, I would give it to you like a 6 out of 10. It was BORING! The only reason I give it a 6 is the music was good, the voice acting was also pretty good, and the action it occasionally got good. I mostly watched, you know, the reason I actually started watching Berserk was because I heard all there was like a shit ton of blood in it, and I, and I, and I love Slash movies like, you know, Friday the 13th, Halloween, Nightmare I love blood. Blood and gore, that's my shit. So here Berserk is like, Blood and gore, Berserk you say? Well, how about I watch the season and see? And then uh, this guy just pointed out there wasn't that much blood in there. That's what I was expecting. But the season was enough to where I enjoyed to where I watched the second season, which is so much better. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one. What is it, Ara? Yeah, but Berserk 2017 is so much Berserk better than Berserk 2016. I'm actually, I'm, it's enjoyable. I'm looking forward to every new episode. Actually, when Berserk Berserk 2016 came out, I actually dropped this series along, I dropped it like on the 6th episode, I just wait till it was finally done before I just binge watch all 6 of the rest of the episodes I had to watch. So, you've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people. You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of Talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name? Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, Alex. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that fuse was victorious. Now die! Alright, take fucking three of this commentary. Guys, now, you guys probably, I don't know if you guys going to see this video today or tomorrow, but I've been having lots of technical difficulties getting this record trying to record this episode like today like three times around like the 15th minute mark of this video the footage keeps like freezing up and the and, and constantly and it's so annoying so you guys probably won't see this video until like tomorrow and which by tomorrow i mean today is the 22nd the nba draft is going on right now yeah ugh. i just hope i can get this i, I hope I get this part out, but that was it. I can get through this. Oh, yes, Berserk. Yes, yes. So, yeah, guys, I'm really loving Berserk 2017. Uh, I'm now. Apparently, Berserk, the Berserk enemies have had, like, a history of them not being that faithful to the manga. At least that's why I kind of understand that not. The manga readers are. It's almost kind of like Tokyo Gore. People say, oh, the anime don't do the manga justice. But my brother told me actually when the Berserk armor showed up, that I was pretty much pound for pound at the manga do it, manga do. So I'm guessing they're adapting a little more. Or, I don't know. I'm no. That's what I've got from Berserk anime is that they're not really that faithful to the actual manga. 
But yeah, I'm enjoying it. My brother's loving it. Uh, I was also getting caught up on um, I, a World's End. You know, World's End. What will you do at the end of the world? Are you busy? Will you save us? Yeah, that long ass title. I was well, I was pleased with that. Really enjoying that anime. I give it like an A from what I've seen so far. But so, yeah. And another reason, which kind of took up the brunt of my time yesterday and the day before that, as well as one other thing. Watching. Yes, yeah, Sword Art Online. And because I got I was kind of, I got into an SEO mood when I saw this one video on YouTube while I was scrolling through YouTube one day. Uh, I saw it was called The Genius of SAO Abridged, you know. Uh, which I've seen a bit of SEO Abridged like the first episode of it. I haven't seen the series since. I not because I, did, I liked it where I saw it, but I've been busy I just kinda of got distracted with stuff I never gotten around to actually finishing it. Which yeah. And I made SAO mood and after rewatching after all the ad maps see, you know, Ex being exposed to the meme that SEO sucks, seen so many videos of people hating on SEO, saying like, oh, this, oh, these were flaws, that was a flaw, this says, this is what's wrong with it, that is wrong with it. I still fucking love the show. I mean, it's still my second film, the boss said that is over, I will keep quiet until this cutscene's over. talking about who did I kill uh, who knows who sees my vision has left me I return now to the life thread and to my brethren no no wait Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Gaius. attacks i think i might have picked up on his technique i've got a feeling we'll need it those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight 
All right, now actually, well, now I'm gonna. Here's, here's what the what the other one you get. Uh, this is a normal dust storm, and this is what you get after the boss. It's kind of like, bam, yeah, the flame attack. So, I still fucking love the series. Uh, I love the story. I love the story. I. As I was saying, guys, it is still my second favorite anime of all time. I'm gonna fuck with anyone says. I love this. I love the story. I love the characters. Mine is Liz and Silica. I'm not really a big fan of those two. Um, yeah, I the art and animation was amazing. The fight scenes and the music. Mm, smoke that shit. <laughs> and yeah, and me personally, I fucking love the romance between Austin and Kato. And the dub, which is how I watched SAO for the first time, and again, I thought they had amazing chemistry, I fucking love their relationship, and uh, it was also pretty good in Japanese, you get them by listening to it from the video games. But yeah, I fucking love them, they're also like one of my favorite parents of all time, honestly. The only flaw, but I will, not, but I will admit, it has flaws. Majority of my flaws I really have with the series were pretty much in iron with, with is alpha, I'm not gonna tell you what they are, because they're kind of spoilery. Especially one of them. But in S but the SEO but the Iron Crowd as a whole, the other problem to have was of what's one Kaiba not giving us a reason why he created the death game, just saying, I forgot. I forgot the reason why. Like please don't give me don't look at don't give me that cop out bullshit. Was it like that in the light novels too, or was it just the anime where they just don't get where they didn't just tell us? So you explain the one known as Fuse. I had no choice. He's lost his mind, murdered many innocents. I am not judging. His death was sad, but necessary. Forgive me for asking, but are you a Moonblood? The Moonbloods, they are an ancient race, and their presence is not tolerated in these lands. One would be at a disadvantage among so many warm-blooded creatures. I understand. I believe you do not, my friend. But I will not press the matter if you do not. And the only other flaw I have with it, but it's not really much of a flaw rather than I would like to see more of. And a flaw that I do understand what some people have is like with the relationship with Austin Kirito. I do agree it was a little rushed. By that I mean I would have liked to see some extra development in the relationship, like seeing like more than just they kissed, chapter thirteen point five, and they got married. I would have liked to see maybe them go on some dates or just something to like To like flush out the relationship a little more, to make it seem a lot less jarring about what Kirito just says, let's get married. I don't think he's on the main less similar less jar, but then again, I still personally fucking love the relationship. So I don't so I'm not really complaining. But that would have been nice to see. Just saying. So yeah, I still fucking love it. So much of a favorite anime of all time. I love it. I love it, death. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I don't give a fuck what anyone says. In fact, if I ever end up wanting to do like full anime series reviews, like you know, Glass Reflections or Black P Critic Eye, I have like this huge like three-part series for essay for like an SAO review. I'm just I'm not gonna tell you all everything, but because I'm giving you the same. But part of all, the part one is the rant. This is when I usually get. This is when technical difficulties start to come in. It's around this part of the game. I don't know if it's afraid. I don't know because it's coming shin screen or something. But whatever. Um, part one I call the rant where I'm pretty much just like, you know, ranting, raving about SAO haters, how, like, me defending the show and saying, like, some of the flaws don't make much sense, and, like, you know, kind of, like, defending the series. Coming to a surprise. Part two, that's gonna be a secret, and part three is gonna be the actual review of the series. See, if I ever do full series anime reviews, yeah, that's kind of what my plans are for this, because I, I fucking love it. A similar effect to, when I watched SAO, it, it gave me a similar effect to when, uh, a glass reflection in his review of Planet said, like, it gave you, like, it gave him, like, a very euphoria feel to yourself. That kind of happened to me with SAO after I finished it for the first time. But yeah, and another thing that took up my time uh, was Dragon Ball Xenoverse. As if you guys have been watching some of my uh, recent uh, Dragon Ball Super and Kai reviews, uh, Kai Super reviews, you will have noticed how I've been shit, man, you've been seeing the exact same gameplay over and over and over again of, uh, you know, that one parallel. Rumor the 
it contained precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, we hope you're safe. 